this morning we learn that the European Union has won the Nobel Peace Prize. The Norwegian Nobel Committee has decided that the Nobel Peace Prize for 2012 is to be awarded to the European Union. Now, with us now is someone who I know would like to offer his congratulations, the leader of UKIP, Nigel Farage. You. Here is your opportunity to congratulate them on winning that prize. Yeah, astonishing, isn't it? And I suspect that the Nobel Prize itself will be brought into dis disrepute by this. I mean, look, just a few days ago, Angela Merkel went to Athens to be greeted with Molotov cocktails, a violent demonstration and, almost unbelievably, people dressed up in Nazi uniforms. What we're seeing is a Europe being divided from north to south by the Eurozone, and the Germans are being rude about the Greeks, and vice versa, so we're seeing actual disharmony caused by this so project. So, peace breaking out everywhere, Nick. Well, defend, Nigel, defend Nigel this Nigel prize. The European Union is an MEP, so he should go and accept this award on behalf oh. of the European Union. <laughs> would, you, would you go and accept it, Nigel Farage? I think I'd struggle to accept that one. No, it'll be Mr Van Rompuy or Barroso. He's the also one, a friend of yours. One, oh, I get on terribly well with all of them. The one thing you can be certain of is that the person that picks up this award will be somebody who is unelected and committed <laughs> to the abolition of democracy in the nation-states of Europe. But it's a poor... Well, I mean, how could they have done it? It really devalues... The Nobel Prize yeah. has always been looked up to. It really devalues the currency. I mean, honestly, what a lot of tossers. Is there anything that can be said? <laughs> is there oh, anything... No. I have to apologise for this. Sue's language. Yes, I even missed that. Can I was I like, yeah. <laughs> this is 50 years too late. If they'd given it when the Treaty mm. of Rome was signed in 1957, yes. saying you're going to solve your problems at the conference table, not on the battlefield, as David Cameron said yesterday in his First World War speech. Great. But the problem is there have been some disasters since then. What happened in Europe's backyard? The war in the former Yugoslavia. Yeah. It took the United States bombing Bosnia to get the Serbs to uh, the Dayton conference table, not the European Union. Isn't the, lesson, Nick, isn't the lesson, Nick, of Yugoslavia that if you artificially try and bring people together and impose a new flag and nationality on them without consent, it actually leads to civil war and, tragically, the European Union is doing exactly the same thing. And Barroso was very clear last month, nation-state democracy must go, it must be transferred to people like him. Fine, you can do that if the peoples of Europe want it, but there's no evidence they but do. But Nigel Farage, isn't it an attempt to sort of say, look, the peoples of Greece and Spain and Ireland and Portugal, to use the pigs, actually want to stay in the Euro, and this somehow will help them along that way psychologically? Uh, listen, it won't make any difference to the economics, and it's noticeable that it wasn't the Nobel Prize for economics, uh, because they certainly wouldn't have do got we that get any under any circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> Do we get any of it? The prize money? Well, I don't know what will happen to it. I thought it, it I heard it was going to be divided up. If you divide it up across people of the nation states, you get but 0.002 something. I mean, think of all those underpaid Eurocrats in Brussels. Yes. I mean, you know, they could Quite. do with some help. Or, they? or what about they could use the money <laughs> to help pay off my fine, having been rude to Herman? How much was that fine? 3,000 euros. Three thousand euros. Yes, have just you for saying. Have you paid it? Just I have. Just for saying that the chap had the charisma of a damp rag. Well, you won't say. Oh, don't say it again. You'll be fined again on the young <laughs> of the parliament. And you're enjoying this all far too much. That's all for today.